I want to talk to the land of skinny jeans. What's up, Portland? Your boy, Jay Wise, is here teaching you cats how to wholesale some properties. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James. I am here to help you. More specifically, my guy, Elliot. Elliot is a wholesaler, would be wholesaler, could be wholesaler, should be wholesaler in Portland, right? We're trying to get his business off the ground, trying to help him, right? And Elliot can take the tools that I'm going to teach him here today, and he could wholesale in Portland, or he could partner with me and actually do a wholesale deal in a much cheaper market, markets where you need 5, 10, 15, 20 K, and you could actually buy properties. And buying the property, actually closing on the deal, folks, it's incredibly important for wholesalers. I'm going to get into why. I'm going to get into where me and Elliot are doing the deal. And I'm going to get into the profit Elliot's going to make wholesale in this deal right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. All right, folks. Now, before I pull up this property that we're going to be wholesaling, the first thing I need you all to understand is this ain't that guru crap. I This ain't the guru crap, folks. I'm a real-life real estate broker, all right? I make my money selling real estate, transacting real estate, managing real estate. I got the biggest rental portfolio in my market of its kind, right? A lot of people out there talking about wholesale, they only got one way they make money. That's selling y'all stuff, right? We walk the walk, we talk the talk at Holton Wise, right? If you fly into our market, drive around town, drive around Cleveland, you're going to see our signs, our trucks everywhere, okay? So we're actually going to be doing things the right way, the legal way, right? And the biggest thing is wholesaling the legal way. Y'all need money. What? Yeah, shocking. Yeah, you actually need money, right? Wholesaling is the act of buying low, selling high. What everybody else out there is teaching you, it's illegal in all 50 states, y'all. Yeah. This whole thing where you take a buyer, right? You build a buyer's list on Craigslist. Then you find a motivated seller, right? And then you connect the buyer and seller together, and then you make your assignment fee. Yeah. There's a term for that, y'all. It's broker in real estate. And you got to have a license in all 50 states to do it. Despite what the gurus are feeding you, you're broker in real estate if you're just trying to collect assignment fees. That's not wholesaling. That's broker in real estate. And the way it's being taught, illegal. In real life, in the real world, not Fantasy Island, you actually got to buy the houses, right? So that's why people partner with us because we can help you do some of the cheapest deals ever. This one's only going to require 15 grand. Now, what I'm about to teach you, you could utilize this strategies to wholesale deals in your own market, or you can go one step further, get personalized videos like this and partner with me and my team and wholesale in our market, right? I do a lot of the legwork for you here on the show. You're about to see it. Now, I provide you guys with the insight with the properties. I'm out here in the Cleveland market. If you want to wholesale in other markets other than Cleveland, I do not have the expert advice. I will not be able to go over properties for you expertly on this TV screen in the videos, right? What you need to do is get that advice, get that stuff from PropStream, okay? PropStream is how you're going to wholesale in all the markets but the Cleveland market. In the Cleveland market, your best bet is to partner with me, and we're going to go through these properties. But again, the strategies can be utilized in other markets. You see, I'm a real estate broker. I have access to the MLS. What PropStream has is MLS-like data in all the other markets across the USA. And guess what? Since you're watching Holton Wise TV, we are a partner, an affiliate with PropStream, so you can try their product out for free for a week. And then after that, if you keep the product, you'll get a discount because you're a Holton Wise TV subscriber, right? So if you want to do it on your own in your own market, take the tools I teach you here on the show. 
Click the link below this video when the video's over. Get the data. Because you ain't going to be a good wholesaler unless you got the data. And guess what? You got stuff like list source, right, where you buy lists. PropStream has lists for you. So you get the online data. You can pull the list to build your seller's lists. They could even help you with the direct mailing because you got a direct mail, right? So that's how you do it. But if you're in Cleveland, you do it just like this. You let me do the legwork, right? Let me go over to properties, okay? 4136 East 99th, Cleveland, floor for 105. Listed at 40K. It's been on the market forever, 120 days. 2809 $28.09 a square foot. You can't build a house for less than $200 a square foot in Ohio, right? And that's one of the cheaper places to do it. So this is super cheap. They used to have it listed at 45 k right? And it's like a super dated house. Like, we got to sell this, the end buyer, so to speak, right? The long-term buyer is going to be like a Burr investor, okay? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, Okay. It's dated, but it's not like horrendous. It's not horrible. What the issue is, the reason this isn't selling uh, for $40,000 is not that it's like in the worst shape in the history of the world. It's just this particular neighborhood is a very tough, blighted neighborhood. So you're going to get a very low ARV after repair value, folks. And there's a decent chunk of work, right? Like this right here, this furnace, this is original, right? You see it? It's like literally from here to here okay this thing is bigger than a person this thing is like a friggin tank dude <laughs> somebody shipped this thing to ukraine so they can fight off the russians with it you know what i'm saying wow that feels like that was highly offensive whoo too soon i apologize that just came out of me man it came out of me like a fireball that was horrible anyway the moral of the story is there's a decent chunk of work on this right i'd say probably like you get a handyman who's doing the work themselves because that's who the buyer needs to be, like 30 k or so, right? And you're not going to get ARVs high enough to support a $40,000 purchase price for that person, right? So what this seller did, what the listing agent did, is they do what a lot of people do, made a huge mistake. They overpriced the property, which is great for us as wholesalers, okay? Because what happens is... This is how it works. Like, everybody, like, there's this weird false narrative out there that, like, I hear, like, dumb hillbilly assholes, like, crying about stuff on online forums, like, oh, I want to sell my house, but the realtor overpriced it. <laughs> Yo, this is the real world, motherfuckers. Realtors don't overprice properties. Why? Because them motherfuckers want to get paid, Okay. Realtors don't overprice properties. What happens is sellers overprice their properties. Realtors are like, yo, we should sell it for this. Sellers are like, no, nah, dog, it's worth this. Because all sellers feel like their house is worth more because they're dumb. It's not. But if the realtor is like, no, nah, bro, you're stupid. It's worth this price. The seller is going to be like, nope, it's worth this price. Get out of my house. And they're going to list it with the next realtor. So what you see a lot of realtors do, they're like, yeah, sure thing, bro. No problem. Sign here. Then they get the listing. Listings are usually six, seven, eight months, okay? And then what happens is over time, the seller starts to realize, I'm an idiot. It's not worth this. Maybe it's worth this and then this. And they start dropping the price, which is what they're doing here, right? If the, the realtor told them right up front, like, dude, you're stupid, right? Some people will. Some people won't. Like me, you could guess. If people say, hey, we should list it here, I'm like, bro, you're fucking dumb. I don't have a problem telling people they're fucking dumb. As a matter of fact, if I don't tell at least five clients a week to fuck themselves, I get all fidgety. You know what I'm saying? It messes me up, right? But other realtors, they're not like that, right? You get the, the lady realtors. They try to be all prim and proper. They're freaking baking cookies, right? Giving out cookies at open house. Do you think my fucking fat ass is going to be at an open house baking your ass cookies, people? I'm fucking not if you were fucking thinking I was okay that'd be crazy right so most realtors live in the world where you're not supposed to tell people to fuck themselves right so what they do is they say yeah sure thing bro no problem that makes sense and they let time do it right so time will do it so the seller starts to get the doubt and they start getting afraid that their property is not going to sell and then sometimes they'll lower the price Sometimes they really won't. These people are kind of in the middle. They lowered it a little bit, but only five grand. Still nowhere near what they needed to do, right? So I think this is where we need to step in, right? As wholesalers, 120 days in the market, y'all, this is Cleveland. 
If you have a rehab project in the Cleveland market and it's priced appropriately, you know how long it takes me to sell those things? Friggin' 10 minutes. I showed you five and I said 10. I should have been like, boom, boom, 10, right? Five, five, 10. It takes, it takes, it takes like 10 minutes, okay? One hand, two, I don't know. I, I can't even give you, I can't give you the 10 though because I'm trying to hold, I'm trying to hold this pen. It's all jacked up, but it's, it's very, very quick and easy and simple to sell rehab deals in Cleveland if you price them right. They didn't. So we have doubt in their mind. So what we need to do, hit them with a low ball offer, right? You'd be surprised how many times sellers, when they're on the market for an incredibly long period of time like this, take offers that are so ridiculously low. One time, did a deal, got a seller to accept. I ended up getting a seller to accept like a, a $10,000 offer on a building originally listed at like 112000 Yeah. Everybody watching my show right now, though, I don't want you to be like, dude, Jay Slice said we're going to give $10,000 offers to all the $100,000 buildings are going to make money. It's easy. Please. That's not what I'm saying. Have I done it? Yes, once. I did it. That's like the, the craziest example, right? Literally like ten grand. From 112. Like, I got that to go through once. You need to literally submit thousands and thousands and thousands of offers like that for that to ever happen. So don't think it's going to happen every day. As a matter of fact, they're sticking at, they're at 40 right now. What I want you to pay is 12 and a half. 12 and a half. That's it. Just 12 and a half after you factor in some of your closing costs. You're all in for 13 and a half. I don't want you spending any more than that. If you do, it's a dud. It's not worth it, right? Can I guarantee you the seller is going to accept that? No, but it's a numbers game. You got to keep sending out these offers, keep sending out these offers, and this seller is primed and ready to take one of those, right? It's a good candidate, right? If I'm like an FBI profiler, okay, and I'm looking for a serial killer, right? Usually, you know what it is. They're like, you know, what's the profile for serial killer, right? It's like socially awkward, white male. 30s to 40s, works a very low-paying job, right? This is literally like the tried-and-true FBI profile of, like, what a serial killer is, right? Like, they make these profiles, okay? Now, I don't know shit about finding profiles or catching criminals or any of that crap, but what I do know about is profiling sellers. And this seller fits my profile, fits my mold of a seller Who's primed to take a low ball offer? Can't guarantee they do, but that's the name of the game. If they don't, we move on to the next one. We don't overpay. But if it all goes according to plan, 12 and a half plus our closing costs, right? Then I'll turn around and sell it easily for 25 because that's the true value here. I got connections with rehabbers, flippers. I got I got the connections, folks. This is Holden Weiss TV. I got like, like 62,000 subscribers on this thing. We have over 12 million views on Holton Weiss TV as I talk to you, right? I'm pretty well connected to people that buy properties. That's how I earn my living. That would net you a $5,505 profit, right? That, folks, is how you do a wholesale deal in the real world. Guaranteed to work? No. But guess what? You got to move on to the next one and the next one and the next one until you get a deal, right? It's like fishing. You got to throw the biggest net in the water to catch the most fish. And by the way, folks, what I just laid out for you, that strategy of sellers being on the market for a very long time works in every single market. So don't forget about PropStream, right? Get the data, see how long they've been on the market, Figure this stuff out. You could do it in your own home market, and PropStream could even help you start mailing to sellers before they even put the stuff on the MLS, right? One other thing, too. Note that there's no tenant in this property, right? This strategy would not work as well if there was a tenant paying. Why? Because that would be an asset, right? The seller would be making money. They'd be more likely to stick to their guns. In this scenario, Ain't nobody living there. This is just a drag. All this thing does is cost them money, right? Another hint, another thing that fits into my seller profile of a seller who's getting ready to just unload the thing, starting to think nobody will ever buy it because they ain't getting no offers because they made the mistake of overpricing it and they didn't have a realtor that fought back, which, again, not the realtor's fault. Most of them won't because, again, in real estate school 101, they're specifically like they're pretty like – anti telling people to fuck themselves on a daily basis i don't know it works for me though right let me know what you want to do thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment